Thank you so much for liking and subscribing Stitching All channels and websites. To make a slip, I show you how to make a pattern, cutting and sewing. Focus on the arrows. The red arrow shows the shoulder width. White arrow is the neck depth and yellow is the armhole depth that you need. Let's make a pattern. We need two layers of paper to cut front and back. Shoulder or the neck width would be 5 inch. You can keep it as per your measurements. Neck depth 5 inches. I go 2.5 inch deeper that I measured for the armhole. I also mentioned the formula for marking the armhole. You can calculate using this formula also. Now mark the waist length 14 inch and total length 20 in, 21 inch that is also hip length. Mark these uh, things out. This is armhole. This line also we mark out and the waist and hip line. This also we stretch out. Now the shoulder or the neck width is 5 inch and we take 5 inch on this chest line and square it up. Chest line or the burst is 1 fourth plus half of an inch. Waist using the same formula to mark the waist and the hip. Now using a this armhole curve, I'm giving a shape to the armhole, but you can do it freehand also. Join the side markings. If you watch this video till the end, then you'll be able to understand it better. Now give a little shape to the bottom. The length, I haven't added any fold. The neck, the front neck is half inch deeper from front, see? And the armhole, this also I go half inch out for the back armhole. Now I'm marking half inch from the sides. But if you think your fabric can stretch, take it one inch. Now cut the outline of the neck and the armhole. Be careful that we are cutting the outline only and how I am cutting it. Cut the same way so you get a perfect result. This is the front and here we got the back. So here we cut extra part and remove it. The back is done. The front is with the lines. So I give a shape to the front neckline. And the string 
but I don't like to spoil my patterns because sometimes I use them again and whether I use them or not but I don't like to waste them so I don't cut it fully I cut it leaving one centimeter from the side so that string is attached to it and now keeping this pattern we cut the fabric if you cut this uh, slip on a, a biased fabric the fall would be much more beautiful the dress would look really amazing but I'm cutting it on a straight fabric then twice and this way you save the fabric and you'll be needing just about uh, one and a half meter even lesser than that so I cut the front and then I cutting the back And sorry for the quality, the front part of the quality of this video. But the second part is really neat and clear. And I'm sure you'll be able to understand this dress much better till the end. And still if you have any doubts, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Now mark and remember to mark both the pieces. Measure the string of your shoulder Measure the armhole the total from the side seam or the margin till the up because there would be no shoulder stitches none at all so here we have our pieces and now I show you that we keep the fabric biased mm -hmm. like you keep a square fabric and then Keep it biased. Cut one and a half inch wide pieces or stripes. We need four stripes, two stripes to finish front and back of the slip and one piece each to make the string for the arm holes or finish the arm holes so here we cut four pieces one and a half inch of the width these kind of bias tapes are available in the market ready made also or you can use some kind of lace if you want to instead of fabric so here measure it from the top there would not be any stitch on the sides only we'll have to close the slips you can make a gown or a chemise or a mini dress or a prom dress using the same method shown in this dress so here we have two pieces and four stripes now let's sew the slip See, check the marking and then start stitching or joining 
the stripe on the neck, the front. Just keep it on the back side so it can be turned towards the right side or vice versa. Like you can turn it inside if you don't want to show it from the top. I'm showing it this dress on a cotton fabric but you can use any kind of fabric even a stretchy fabric if you are using a stretchy fabric or a hosiery fabric then don't add losing you can simply keep the round the one fourth part of the round of your bust or chest line or hip or baseline that's it no adding any losing any margins now fold it and make a top stitch See how neat it came out. The other piece also we have to finish same way. Here also you must be sure that you check the marking so that you are saving yourself time and efforts of ripping the wrong seams and stitches. Fold it. See, whenever we stitch anything, it helps if uh, we use an iron at every step of stitching or sewing. But I'm using this cotton fabric, and it is easy to handle any beginner can who is learning to sew or stitch can use a cotton fabric and make a dress perfectly nice cut the extra fabric from the sides the other side also and cut now check the total length of the stripes that we are using for finishing the armhole. I need to take about uh, 8 inch. Even if it is longer, I can cut it from the sides. Okay. So, I whatever is the size that you have measured. Based on that, measure the long these stripes and start joining it from the back side of your dress. Just pay attention here because if you are doing it for the first time, you may get a little confused. So from the side, one side of the slip, we start stitching and we finish here. Now the other end is loose. The front we are not joining right now we are joining this string on the this strip on the back part of the slip right now
from the back both the stripes are joined now just be a little careful to see that this front we have to join what we do we keep the back on the back of the sewing machine and then keep the other end on our front part of the slip and join it here you have to be careful that the total length of your bias strip for the shoulder strings is exactly what you measured otherwise it can be the shoulders can be your string can be tight or loose finish till the end now we fold it we turn it inside and make a top stitch on it the way we do to finish any edges don't pull the fabric because uh, it is cut on bias and of course you don't want to spoil the shape of your dress join from the side till the bottom i did not add fabric on the bottom because i used that uh, roll hem kind of a thing or a overlock stitch on the bottom but if you are folding then use one and a half inch for the fold so this way your dress you can make any dress this is a simple basic chemise slip you can wear under any dress any transparent dress or any dress you want to but uh, you can make even an outer dress using the same pattern same method and i would love it if you could if you make a dress like this then please share it with me on stitching wall facebook page or you can also visit stitching wall website there also you can get the link stitching on facebook page or in the description box also i'll paste it so for the bottom or finish it the way i done it with my overlock kind of a finishing stitch this saved my time and the bottom was also looking very beautiful take care Goodbye 
I hope you would like this video. Take care. Bye-bye.